Hello and thank you for stopping by. Today I'm going to be doing a little general maintenance on this utility trailer. This is a boat trailer that I converted to a utility trailer about six years ago. If you like, the link is up above for that. This trailer is left out year in, year out. Snow, rain, and I can't count the tons of stone, millings, mulch, and whatever I carried in here for the last six years. But it's taken its toll on the bed of the trailer. So today, I'm going to show you how I'm using this oil, this discarded oil tank, which is empty. How I'm going to utilize this tank to lay on the bed of this trailer. You can see this wood's getting pretty beat up. I've treated it several times over the years. But from all the stone and leaving it out in the rain, picking up machinery with it, it's just getting worn out. So before this wood gets any worse for the wear, I'm going to cover it with the metal from this tank. Right now, I'm deciding on which way I should go with this. Whether I should take this tank and split it and then just open it up. But I'm not sure how hard this tank is to bend. Or if I should just cut it this way, lengthways, get two halves. Let me get back here. Once I flatten it out, it'll cover the trailer. I have to trim some of it off, but I'll have two pieces, one in the front, one in the back. One way I get the whole length. So I'm debating on which way to go. When I use my 55 gallon barrels, I generally cut the ends off, split it down the middle, open them up, and that's a little tricky. But I'm not sure on this metal here if it's thicker than the barrels. And this looks like it's a little beat up. I was told it doesn't leak. And that's really not a concern for what I'm going to use it for. I already checked to make sure there was nothing in here. I'm going to cut these legs off. And then take my measurements two to three times to see which way I'm going to go with it. When I decide which way to go and I cut it, before I lay it down, if I go two pieces, I'm going to have to weld them together. If I go to one piece, I'm going to have fun opening it up. But either way, once I cut it, I'll show you where I am at that point, and then I'll show you the finished product afterwards. Okay, I'm back at it. Yesterday, I cut these legs off. And I'm going to hold on to these. I'm sure I'll be using them for something. And it was just a little too cold to keep working on this. And besides it being a little too cold to keep working on it, I wasn't sure on how I wanted to cut it open. At first, I was thinking maybe just to cut it along the top and the bottom, get two pieces, and it'll be easy to flatten out because I'll just have this little bit of a curve here. But I like to do it all in one piece. So what I'm going to try, I'm not sure how it's going to work out. I'm going to cut the ends off the way I originally intended. And then, I'll be splitting it down the middle. And then I'm going to try and pull it back and open it up to lay it flat. Let me show you the measurements I have and why I decided to go this direction. So these are the dimensions I'm looking at. The trailer in the front is 57 inches across. In the back, it's 56 and a half. When I put this trailer together, it was hardly any measurements that I've taken. You can see over here, it's 57 inches, 56 and a, and a half. It's not squared off. And the length is 96 and a quarter on one side, 97 three quarters on the other side. So it's a little bit of a twist in there. Now, the oil tank, it's not a cylinder like this, but just for measurements, it's 61 inches going across and 44 inches top to bottom. What I was going to do was cut in this way and do two pieces. And I think that might be my best bet and just weld it together. But I would like to have one big piece. I'm just not sure after I cut it how I'm going to unbend it or how easily it'll be to unbend. But when I took the measurement going around this tank, the measurements came out to 124 inches. And total for the trailer, giving it a little extra, is 98 inches. So I have 26 inches to play with. 
as far as the length. Now, the biggest problem that I see with this is trying to unfold this metal once I cut it open. I'm not sure if I'm making a mistake going this way, but we'll give it a shot. Once I cut it open, I'll show you what I have. Okay, I just wanna show you what I've gotten done so far. And an important note, this is not a how-to video. This is for entertainment purposes only. Cutting these tanks open can be very dangerous. If you don't know what was in there before, whatever the case may be, if one of these tanks blows while you're cutting it, it'd be catastrophic. So again, this is not a how-to video, but more of it's what I've used to put a bed down on that trailer. Now let me show you what I've been using. Just simple Harbor Freight tools, nothing special. Harbor Freight Sawzall, Harbor Freight Grinding Wheel. Grinding wheel cuts through it pretty good. The Sawzall, a smaller blade is uh, preferable. This wobbles a lot, but it's the only one I had left. And what I did, I cut both ends off. And one thing I noticed, this, the second one, I did a lot better than the first one. When I'm cutting, I cut too close to the inner lip right here. And it made it very difficult. I bet I bent a few blades on it. You can see where it came in close over here. So trying to bring it out, this is all wobbly over here. This tank was wider than what I needed it for on a trailer, but I don't know. I might have a little wood still showing by the time I'm done with it. You can see this one here. I cut it a lot better, slightly above the lip. So now my next step is to cut this lengthwise. And once I cut it lengthwise, the part that I'm worried about, stretching it out. I want to open it up this way, flatten it out, and lay it on that bed. So now it's time for lunch. I'll be back, catch my breath, cut it up, and see what's going to be involved in stretching this out. This is what I have done so far. The ends are cut off, and I started opening this up. This metal is pretty thick. It's a lot thicker than the 55-gallon uh, drums, which makes sense because of what this is holding and for the time it's got to hold the material. But I am having a tough time trying to straighten it out. So I'm going to flip this over, put that board. I have a longer board up on the trailer, and then... Once it's laying down, I'm gonna drive the blaze over it a couple times, see how flat I can get this. So that's what I'm up to next. Just want to show you where I was at. This is as far as I can get it, doing it by hand. I stepped on this, I sat on this, I kept the blocks there on this side to keep it from rolling up on me. And you wanna be careful with this, because this thing has tension to it. So I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna do it in this driveway, which is all stone. Or if I'm going to drive it to a parking lot and uh, do it over there. I have a parking lot about a quarter mile away from me. I can put it up on the trail and try it like that. have to kick it around and see which way I'm going to go. As soon as I get set up, I'll be back to show you that. Okay, go all the way forward. Hold on just a second. Okay, go ahead. 
you can feel the bump. Okay, now, turn the wheel. Oh, the lights just came on. <laughs> turn the wheel, uh, even directions is hard. This way. Wheel like you want it to go that direction, back and up. And then the trailer will go the opposite direction. Turn the wheel like you want to come this direction, and the trailer will go the opposite direction for you. Go slow. Oh, not the other way. No good. Come up. Come up. Come on, don't worry. You're not going to hit nothing. Come on. There's nothing there. Okay. If you wanted to go this direction, which way you would turn? You would turn that way, right? So you want the trailer to go the other direction. So you would turn it this way. Turn it. Like that. Okay. That. Go slow though, so it doesn't jack up. See how the trailer's going the other way now? I'll straighten it out a little bit. That's it. I'm back and I wanted to show this project finished but it's started raining the last couple of days and I'm working with electric power tools so I didn't want to be out here in the rain matter of fact it's starting to drizzle again out here now and I wanted to get this video up sooner than later but I have to say this was a lot more difficult than I planned on I've used 55 gallon drums in here before and I flattened them out and they were a lot easier to work with this metal is pretty thick I'm not sure how to gauge of this metal but just to give you an idea here cam is picking that up it's pretty heavy metal and cutting it wasn't the problem I was trying to flatten it out you can see it's still got ripples in it I have these blocks in here I'm not sure if I'm gonna drill through and put a couple of bolts a couple of cabbage bolts and go through the wood and hold it from the bottom I have the sides on, but you can see the sides up. See that gap over there? Because on that end over there, the tank is bowed up. I have to trim this off to get it a little cleaner. My cutting on this was really bad. It was hard to measure it with this thing being bowed up. Um, I had a couple schools of thought. One, I was thinking about notching it out and getting it close to the fenders. The next was trimming it to the trailer itself and here's the opening the top of the tank where your pipes go in to fill the tank I was thinking about putting this on the tail and trimming it down and when this trail is full of stone instead of shoveling it out to tie a chain on here and either a stake in the ground or to a tree and just drive and let it pull out but this is really heavy and I think I would have a hard time picking it up and putting it down all the time. I was just going to flip it around. This is tied like this. I was using it to try to adjust it to get it even. As I showed earlier, the trailer isn't squared off. And the cuts on here, they were a little off, but the, this was wider than the trailer. And I used the Harbor Freight Sawzall and the Harbor Freight Grinder. I had a few Harbor Freight blades. They were really bad on here. Then I had a couple of name brand blades. I'll post the name brand blades in the description down below if you're going to do any kind of metal cutting. <coughs> Excuse me. I have this cough I'm trying to get rid of too. Anyway, what's next is for me to trim it along over here, take this piece out, and then just reconnect the uh, boards on the trailer. After that, I'm going to trim this down. I want to get rid of these rough edges like this. Somebody walked by, hit their knee on it. So I'll trim this up a little more. I'll be using a four and a half inch grinding wheel on this. It cuts through pretty good. Just have to take your time. And as I mentioned earlier, do not cut one of these tanks open. Um, from time to time when I could get them, I'm, I'm building a retaining wall. And you have a wooden deck. I recommend putting down a metal cover. I should have did this uh, years ago because that wood held up quite well for the abuse that it's taken. But it would be in a lot better shape if I had this all along. So for now, that's a wrap. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you didn't enjoy it for any reason, post that comment down below too. Let me know. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that Joe Z button 
and be sure to hit that bell on so you get my new videos as I upload them. I haven't been posting videos as much as I have in the past, just so much to get done, but I do try to get them up from time to time, and if you look through, I have plenty of content on the channel. So, so until next time, stay well and safe driving.